to the Coral Finder Tips, Tricks and Accessories video. This video assumes you have already viewed the How to Use the Coral Finder movie and in it I will attempt to give you the good oil on the practical aspects of using the Coral Finder in the field. The Coral Finder is made up of the following components. A thin, protective, clear outer cover. A heavy polypropylene protective back slate with attachment holes, a heavy plastic spiral binding, and 34 full color print polypropylene pages coated with a UV resistant varnish. As ever, here is Rachel, my beautiful wife and program coordinator of the CICBP. And she's holding a brand new coral finder in her hot little hand. She's excited. Selecting lookalike pages is done using the tabs that run down the right hand side of the finder. The pages are very strong, you cannot tear them, so it's okay to flex the pages to make the tabs come apart. The back slate is quite thick and adds rigidity to the coral finder, which helps when writing data and fending off unwanted visitors. On the inside, is a scale for use during the coral identification process and at the top there are colour swatches for colour correction of your photos after the dive. The other swatches are taken from the Coral Watch Coral Health chart and can be used to track coral health of stressed corals over time. You'll notice the back slate has several holes. These are for attaching things to the coral finder and the coral finder to you. If you are a snorkeler, you will probably prefer the coral finder in its natural state of being slightly buoyant. However, if you are a diver, you will definitely prefer that it is slightly negatively buoyant, like this. To do this, just purchase a snap shackle, preferably stainless steel, with a weight of around 60 grams. You can then use the snap shackle to attach the coral finder to your dive vest hands-free operation. A really useful thing to do is to carry a large rubber band on your wrist. Use it to keep the coral finder from splaying open in the current. Also, by keeping the coral finder closed when not in use, the front and back covers ensure it is fully protected from scratching. With the shackle attaching your coral finder to your dive vest and the rubber band holding it closed and protected, you can go about the entire dive without even noticing the coral finder is there as it trails along in your wake. Incredible. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, fashion accessories. As one reaches one's dotage, you find that your eyes aren't what they used to be. And so it's not unusual to need a little assistance in that department. The solution is a cheap and cheerful plastic magnifying glass. You can also find some with a little higher magnification window built into them, like the one on screen. In fact, if the truth be known, you don't have to have failing eyesight to need a magnifying glass. If you are really serious about learning your corals, a magnifier will let you both see and understand more about the features of the corals and how they relate to the coral finder. Data collection is an important part of improving your coral IDs and of conducting marine surveys generally. The Coral Finder is well set up to do this, especially if you take along a pencil. A good option is the all plastic clutch pencil. Again, make sure it's cheap and cheerful. That way you can buy two and you won't mind consigning them to history at the end of a dive trip. Now you can write directly on the slate that is the back of the Coral Finder, or you can do what the pros do. Attach a piece of underwater paper, which you can then take home to wash and file, or transcribe and erase. I will be covering data collection as it relates to coral surveys in more detail in another movie. Colour correction and scale information are also well facilitated by the Coral Finder. Checking the true scale of the coral you are interviewing is the very first thing you should do using the scale bar provided inside the back cover. The correct way to measure up a coral will also be covered in a later video. 
If you are taking photos of corals, always take one with the colour swatches and scale bar included. After the dive, you can use image editing software like Photoshop to set the white or mid-grey point for colour correction of your images. And so, as Rachel says farewell, she swims sweetly into the sunset. Good luck on your voyage, Rachel. Au revoir.